that thing off. You're smart. Well, these are brass knuckles. These are homemade brass knuckles. This is a hacksaw that was actually used in an escape. Oh. And then we have handmade knives, whips, and chains. And then down that's here. A, that's a dangerous whip. This oh, one, yeah. It's called a flogger. It's made with fence staples. Ah. And this one right here is made out of a fork. It's a ring. And they sh uh, sharpened and straightened out one of the tines and wore the oh. other one around the finger. And I'd hate to get hit with one of those. Yeah, and if, um, if it, like, back off. Yep. And these are billy clubs and different balls and chains and stuff that were used by deputies at the time to keep prisoners in line. All right, we're going to show you the rest of it. What's your set? Don't sit on that chair. That is an antique chair. Thank you. I didn't, I didn't even, I didn't even uh, you were a little it. close, though. So all right, this is the jailer's room. The jailer was in charge of taking care of all of the prisoners upstairs, and we're going to go there next. So the jailer lived here with his family. You think you could live here with your mommy and daddy and brother and sister and anybody else that was in your family? It'd be too small, wouldn't it? Yeah. This is actually bigger no, than some efficiency apartments in Boston and New York. Yeah. But uh, this is where the jailer lived with his family and he was in charge of making sure they went to court he was in cane? it was one of the canes that were used uh, by the deputies at the time we just had it in this Where's room the cane? it's hanging on the off back, the back of, the of the chair and uh, no. he, he was in charge cards. of taking care of the prisoners making sure that they were fed making sure they went to the court dates and making sure that the toilets were flushed because oh. there was no water or plumbing in here at the time and i'll show you all that when we go up there and over here this is the holding cell. Almost done, sorry. No, I'm Come on, way. I'm sorry. Come on, watch your step. This is where they would put you first when you were really bad. They would hold you in here. And if you were a woman, this is where you would count. Please don't. And so these walls, if you see these are metal walls. And people would write their names on the walls. And you can see that, yeah, and they could talk to people on the street. And you can see that this was a women's cell because you can see a lot of names on the walls like Rosemary and Sophia and different things like that. How many um, cells were there? Um, Sophia. Well, there was over 20 upstairs. Wow. And including this one. What does this one say? Uh, uh, Stewart? Ford? Ford. Oh, S. Ford. Yes, S. And then Ford. I'm not going to. I'm not going to define the rest of them because there's going to be some curse words. Oh, okay, yeah, let's uh... <laughs> this is where we're walking. This area here, this is called the dungeon. Oh, God. AKA the hole. And this oh, is where they put you if you needed an attitude adjustment. You want me to shut the door? Oh, you want me to sure, do it. Ollie, come on, get in. Get Are you scared? Are you too oh, scared? Oh, my gosh, are you really too scared? Out open this up and show you the low security cells. They're 
be four prisoners in each cell, and the total capacity of this jail in what's considered riot conditions is 150 prisoners. Be careful, the floors are uneven. No be careful. So, okay. No touching. Each it's antique. And it's rusting. So the more we touch it, the more it rusts. I think the most that we found at one time was 40 people held in here, so there could be two people in each cell. So two, four, or six, eight. Yes. The third floor is not as stable as the second floor, so that's why. But, um. Oh, I noticed. This is all the floating part. because that's right at forehead level. Okay, be careful on that thing so you don't bump your head. You want to come check out these cells, Archie? Come check them out. Can you close it but don't lock it? No. <laughs> <laughs> Wait. But each one of these cells can hold it. You can open it up. I can open Can I open it? Four, four people? Can Let's go look and see where four people would live. Could you imagine living here with your family? Oh my god, I talked to no. Those are probably the prisoners. Um, this is like L. Nice body dance. We're almost, oh, we're about to go. Oh, what does this say? L. That means the in Spanish. What does all this say? El Pepe Gonzalez was here. Now here is where they took their showers. Uh, Be careful, wash your feet. The the wall, and this is where they took the showers. The shower heads were in those holes right there. And they were allowed out here once a week if they were lucky to take a shower. Why is it so small? How did they take a bath? They didn't. They, didn't. they took a shower. And <laughs> so around the walkway, this would be the guards, right? Yes, the guards were only allowed in this area here. This area here was for the prisoners' exercise. It's like this big room here, but the felons didn't get that much room. Oh, that was their yard? I yeah, this is their yard. No, not a chainsaw, but they had razor blades. Hacksaw. Uh, oh, hacksaw, not was a hacksaw. Was confiscated. Uh, the hacksaw, yes. It's because they were, uh, you see, the windows didn't have 
anything but the bars, so there was no glass. And so whenever they were in this general area there, they could send down what was called a kite, which was basically a braided piece of their sheets. And they'd send it down there, and somebody down there would then give them some contraband, which could be anything from food to beer to weapons. And so one of the things is we asked the prisoners, because this was a jail till 75, so we've had some of the former prisoners come back and talk to us. And we asked them, how did you carve your name into the metal? What did you have? And they said everybody had a razor blade. Huh. So that's how they did it. Oh. And that Surprised there weren't more people killing themselves. Well, this was a county jail. Oh, okay. And so they were only here for a couple of months, a couple of days, a couple of weeks. I think the longest I've seen 